and bi biostimulants are either organisms, living organisms, or they could be uh, non-living component biostimulants, like for example, humic substances, right? And uh, either the biological living organism or the, or the non-biological uh, humic substance or other kind of biostimulant, they will trigger uh, physiology in the plant. They will trigger increased growth in the plant. Typically, it's a temporary effect. You know, they get it. They start. They start biostimulants uh, work early on, and then they plants get going, and then it peters out, stops. The the difference is. Uh, if it's a product like humic substance, or if it's a, a, a if it's organism organisms that have been killed, right? Uh, you basically these are a little different in that you put them on and they're going to last as long as they're there. So you could apply them to soils, apply them to plants, really, because the plants are what responds to those compounds. And so long as the compound or substance is there, they the plant can will respond to them. Uh, but uh, the difference with a, bio a living organism is that, and, and some living organisms work better than others in the, in, in the sense that when you put them down, uh, they'll give a kickstart, but they'll last a little bit longer because the plant will actually cultivate them. If, if for example, they're bacteria, the plant will cultivate the bacterium around the root tip and take them in, and that will stimulate growth for a period of time. Now, likely they'll be replaced by native microbes when the natives are there. They'll, they'll come in and they'll, they'll uh, essentially outcompete what you put in. Uh, with the algae, the in-soil product, um, the one difference is uh, it's an alga. And really you have, with the in-soil product, you have the, the algal cell itself, which is, uh, can do photosynthesis, can get sunlight, can produce its own food. So it can withstand, right? It can stay there. But, but these algae actually have bacteria inside them. And when the when the plant absorbs them, the bacteria inside them leave the alga and go into the plant. Mm. All that That's time. incredible. That's just crazy. Okay, so the in in the in soil product, because of the way it works, should be a more stable product than many other uh, in terms of the durability in the field and. Uh, compared to some other biostimulants. I'm actually advocating for biological agriculture and uh, basically regenerative agriculture, right? And tools like, uh, like the in-soil algal product uh, or would enable or will enable growers to get to in, to begin to build up their soils because it kind of because they can survive in soils they can they can grow in the soils and build up microbial titer and so forth in the soil so it's an excellent way to start building soil health right, uh, right. and uh, eventually and eventually uh, we won't need all the chemistry you know once the soils are healthy and we have good microbes in plants and and uh, we're using tools, biological tools like the in-soil product and other biostimulants. Uh, we won't have as as serious uh, issues with human health and and agrochemicals in the environment. But people like Dan have to have to really pioneer how to do this. And uh, you know, no one like a lab scientist like me is going to be able to help actually uh, yeah. render, render this down to practice, right? That has to be done by courageous growers like Dan.